we decided to come out with the ID50. Pricing hasn't been set yet. It's got a lot of the features that that people liked out of the ID51 series. Uh, I think it was the ID no, it was the ID52 where we introduced um, dual DV uh, dual watch. Right. This one is like the 51 where it does not. So that's where I jokingly say it's like the Mark II G of it. Okay. There's a lot of 51 features in this product that um, a lot of people were happy with. It does not have the color display. Um, it does have the waterfall feature for it, but it's going to be monochrome. So you're saying the feature-wise, it's pretty much the same minus the screen? Um, minus the screen, minus the color. You do not get the dual watch for the DV mode. Okay. With the fifty, with the ID fifty, <laughs> but, but it, it's all the same controls, everything, pretty much, right? Yeah, yeah. Just totally. If the user, if the user interface works, why change it? Right. I was wondering if if you just drop the D Star on it, but apparently it's, it it has D Star as well. Yeah, it's got the D Star in it. If you wanted one that did not have D Star in it, I would point you to the the T10. Yeah, the T10. Yeah, we've done we've done videos. So the size difference between the 50 and the 52 is largely the screen. Is yeah. that why yeah. it shrunk down? Is just going to the monochrome, you got a little smaller platform? A uh, smaller platform. You take a look here, your lines line up. So yeah. the speakers are the same size. The right. buttons are the same size. So your screen height. Yeah. GPS antenna in the same place. Looks like the same style knobs. Well, one of the things that I like about it is the USB-C charging port. There you go. That's what everybody's going to be asking. That's it. Hey. <laughs> that's what that USB-C yeah. charging. Yep. So. Brilliant. Thanks, Ray.